Hi everyone and welcome to my fourth, fifth, fifth vlog in the series. So, um, good and bad news. Good news is, uh, one, I can use my fancy view uh, on a tripod because my brother left his thing, as I told you. And I got a new phone, so you might be seeing better image quality. Uh, bad news is, this little thingy that lifts up and clips onto my phone actually uh, chipped the Gorilla Glass the last time I used it. So I'm just going to be careful with that. Um, otherwise, today I'm going to make the theater for the Shadow Puppets. So that's going to be very easy. I'm just going to take this large cardboard um, and stick some wax, wax paper to it. Um, for a see-through surface and then I'm going to make my third little bird There he is right next to his mom and dad and Then lastly um, Maybe not today, but later in this week. I'm going to make a feather and an egg as uh, Shadow puppets to use as shadow puppets to show why the scientists are I'm sending up this poor ostrich into space. Okay, um, I'm gonna start by doing the little bird, so uh, enjoy. Just like I made the first birds, I simply took a polystyrene ball and glue gun feathers to it. So I just finished my bird. In the process, I burned right through my hand with the, the glue gun. It like got stuck on my finger and when I did this, I rubbed it off on my palm and now you, you can clearly see there's a hole right through my hand. Um, so yeah, that's painful, but that's done. Yay. So I'm now going to start with my shadow puppet theater thing. Um, I'm not sure what the time is. Okay, it's half past 10, my class starts at 11. So, um, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to do an awful lot. Um, yeah, I have like 15 minutes, uh, then I have to go. So I'm, I'm just gonna start with taking everything apart and cutting off the bad, bad things I don't want. I started with the prep work to cut off the long piece of cardboard that stuck up and opening up the side, which is connected with box tape. So taking everything apart, um, this is going to be the front, and the rest, the other side of the box is glossy, and if there's ever any light, it might reflect, and I don't want that. So right there, this is going to come up like this. So there's gonna be a stand, and that will help to keep it upright. And then down there, I'm gonna, glue gun as well to keep everything nice and steady um but yeah i'm done for now i'm done for now as i said i'm gonna go to class um between classes yeah i won't be able to work after class i'm going to see someone to help me with my puppet show um i have a, a brief summary of what happened and um I might work on this tonight, not sure, otherwise I'll, I'll finish tomorrow, tomorrow I only have one class, so that would be perfect for working. So enjoy your day, um, yeah, enjoy, hope you have an awesome day. Hi, so luck is on our side, I did not have that much editing to do, so I can work on my puppet theatre. So. Here it is. The first thing I'm going to do is just neaten it up a bit. So this will be the front. And then at the side here will be um, glued. I'm just going to cut it from here at the top, just diagonal line to where it meets, just to have a little bit more class, if you want to say it that way. Um, after that, 
I'm going to just cut out the hole. Uh, measure the size of the wax paper, cut it out, and then I'll probably stick it, everything together. Um, I've just tested the wax paper. It looks really nice. I, I really like the way it looks. So I'm happy with everything. And um, yeah, at the moment I use my phone light. Um, I'm, uh, someone's gonna help me um, film everything and maybe he has a ring light. Um, if he has, that would work perfectly. Otherwise, I'll, I'll make a plan. It will be able, I'll be able to do it. So yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for this. Bad news, um, I don't have enough time. My second class is almost starting and I haven't eaten lunch. So I was able to do that. At least I did something. So I'm gonna go eat lunch and tonight, I think tonight, I'm just gonna come back and make the little window for the wax paper. So wish me luck. And yeah, um, enjoy your day. Today during class, we had some studio time. So I am back down here, ready to, where is it? There. To finish my thing for my shadow puppetry. Um, I have to meet someone in about 15 minutes. He's gonna help me to film everything. So I just have to hurry up if I'm not finished. I'll have to finish another time. I measured out a hole in the cardboard and then cut it out. I then proceeded by gluing wax paper over it. I started by gluing the shiny side to the box because I didn't want anything reflecting. Um, but because I did that, the glue wouldn't stick. So I just swapped it around, took off the uh, glue that stuck to the cardboard and just started over. After doing this, I waited a few hours and went into the darkest room in our house and just tried it out and I think it looked really good. I didn't like the large light at the back, it was a bit sharp, but I knew that I would be getting LED lights which would make a fuller light and take that horrible flashlight effect away. Filming my entire thing, I got some equipment from a guy I know. So this was this is a green screen that folded up. Uh, this had two reflectors uh, and a, a diffuser and a, um, a darkener. Um, two LED lights. This um, holster that um, I put on the green screen to hold it nice like this, nice and flat. Um, then I had this Canon C200 um, camera, which I hope I used correctly. Um, I used this mic, um, Woo's mic, and um, that's all. Later, I'll, I'll sh yeah, after this, I'll show you the different um, setups I had for filming. The first setup is what I used to film the shadow puppetry with the large light at the back. I learned that the farther away the light was, the brighter the shadows were. And the second setup was the filming of the puppet. I used two lights and changing the temperature of the light to indicate different locations the puppet would be. I hope you enjoy the fifth vlog and that you'll be tuning in for the sixth one. Thank you very much and have a great day.